So if you're watching this, you're probably familiar with the big four, EY, KPMG, Deloitte, and PwC. These firms globally are a pretty big deal because they're pretty competitive to landing a job or an internship at these firms. And for myself at least, and maybe you as well, it was my dream and goals to landing an internship at the big four. That was something that I defined as success because I saw other people interning there and getting good jobs after college. So that was really my goal of landing a job at the big four. And this past summer, having interned at PwC, as an auditor in Los Angeles, did it actually live up to my expectations of what I was expecting working at a big four would be like? Well, to put it short, no, it didn't, but that's because my expectations were all over the place. And honestly, I was pretty nervous and afraid of starting my first corporate America job because I had heard how life-sucking and personality-taking corporate America is, but this past summer, it was completely the opposite of that. And with that, let's get started of my experience interning at PwC this past summer. Okay, let's get started right off the bat in a topic that I think you guys are most interested in and definitely something I was most interested in once I finally got my offer from PwC in which how much did I get paid this summer? So this summer, my hourly rate at PwC was $32.50 and interns are paid differently compared to associates. So associates, you're salaried, so you have a fixed income for the entire year and you don't get anything extra if you work more than your 40 hours. But for interns, it's a bit different. You're on an hourly rate, so if you work more than your 40 hours, you actually get an overtime bonus of time and a half. So if I were to work more than my 40 hours during the week at PwC, I would get time and a half, which would come out to about $50 per hour. And on top of that, I also got a sign-on bonus as well of $1,000. So overall, my bank account really loved this internship. And it was pretty nice to be able to make more than minimum wage. And this summer, I was able to save most of that money as well because I lived at home and I commuted to the office whenever I had to go to the office. So going back to college, I had a good amount saved up and it was pretty nice being able to spend money on whatever I wanted like chamba juice or coffee or any food that I wanted so it was nice not feeling like a broke college student and having that internship money and even though there's internships that pay a lot more like my friends that were doing software engineering internships and investment banking internships yeah they definitely got a lot more money but I still feel like I got paid a good amount relatively to the difficulty of the work I had and the amount of work that I had and all the big four they're pretty in line for how much they pay and your Rates also dependent on the location of your office. Say if you live in a low cost of living city, your rate's gonna be a lot lower than my 3250 that I had in a higher cost of living of Los Angeles. So moving on to another topic that I think you guys would probably be interested in are the events that PwC had for their interns. So I would say the big four in general that they spoil their interns. And I kept on thinking throughout my internship on why are they spoiling us so much? Is this normal for an internship? But it makes sense because the big four, their business model is they make money off the people that they hire because you know they give them a certain salary and they sell those services to companies for even more money. So it makes sense they want more talent and they want to be able to retain their interns. So they're investing into you know the salaries that they pay their interns and also these events to make sure that they come back. And some of the events that I had during my internship was during promo day. So this is the day where the people are getting promoted to partners. So they took the entire Los Angeles office and the Irvine office as well to Disneyland, which I thought was pretty cool. They rented out an entire hotel lounge at the Disneyland hotel and we all got free lunch. And obviously we're able to go into the park after with the free ticket that they gave us. And it was probably the highlight of my internship because I was able to meet up with people during my orientation group and we made an even bigger group because we met other interns there as well. And we were just all, you know, just having fun at Disneyland. And we actually ran into one of the managers at PwC and they actually treated all the interns to dinner. So. I think the bill came out to like 4,000 for all the food and drinks that we ordered. So it was pretty shocking to see how much the big four spoil their interns. I think that's what separates a big four internship to most internships. And they're also able to do this because they're a private company. Um, most public companies, since they have shareholders, they can't be spending an outrageous amount of money on these type of events. So it's pretty nice interning for a private company. And some other events that we had during the internship was they rented out a bowling alley for all the interns and we had like an open bar and and free snacks as well like pizza and this was a pretty cool event because you're able to meet other interns that are doing like different things like tax audit consulting and they're all from different schools as well around the same age and everybody's pretty like-minded as well on having such an emphasis on their career and also their academics so it's definitely a cool group of people that they bring together during these events and during my internship although I met a lot of people I would say I was closest with my orientation group during the Disneyland event and during other events as well we always hung out together and I would say that's an experience that most 
interns have, they stick around with their orientation group. So that's something to keep in mind. And other events that we had specifically for like the project that I was on, I was in the healthcare industry. So usually everybody would work from home, but for certain days where we had like planned happy hours, everybody would come into the office and we would get like free breakfast, free lunch. And then obviously we would all go out to a restaurant after work and we would get free drinks, um, free food. I didn't really realize how big of a culture happy hour and drinking is. And it definitely opens up conversations because when we first got there, everybody was kind of like mute, but after like two to three drinks, everybody was just talking about anything. There's definitely a lot of interesting conversations, but it's also important for an intern to maintain your professional appearance. It's very different, you know, drinking with your coworkers versus, you know, drinking with your friends. You gotta remember, you know, you're an intern, you're only here for a few weeks. You know, you gotta leave a good impression. So, and the other interns that I met, we hung out, you know, outside of PWC events as well for like people's birthdays, you know, after work. So it was definitely a lot of fun. So moving over to a topic that's a bit less interesting, of my career growth during my internship. So I was a bit surprised on the resources available that the big four and PwC that they give to their interns. So I would say that they really, you know, pride themselves on, you know, taking an intern that knows nothing and they expect their interns not to know a lot and really upscale them. So for myself during my audit internship orientation week that every intern does at any big four, you know, the first week is going to be your orientation week. So they taught me along with the other interns, the basics of audit and as well is like data visualizations like Power BI, some Excel as well. And once we finished this orientation, which was honestly like the longest week of their internship. But after this, once you get deployed to a project, you're able to grow by doing work on your project. And also throughout your internship, whenever you have free time, you can also do training modules. So for myself, the first few weeks in my internship, I realized that I didn't want to do audit anymore. I knew I wanted to switch over to consulting. That's something that I told my like managers um, early on that, you know, I was probably going to do a switch, but I still try to have like that positive mindset of, you know, maybe I'll learn something. So I had access to the training modules for consultants. So I made sure I did these training modules that, you know, the consulting interns did. And during my recruiting process for consulting this past recruiting cycle, I really used some of the things that I learned in these training modules to help me for my recruiting and my interviews. So I learned a lot. And on the projects, you know, doing the audit work, I really didn't honestly do like audit work. I was kind of just doing the easiest tasks. And I would say like for most interns, they kind of just give you like easy tasks to do. Like I was doing note taking. I was sending out emails. I was in client meetings, which was actually cool being in a client meeting. But other than that, I would say I learned more like on my projects, you know, the soft skills of like working at a team. I think having that professional experience was like really important. And overall, if you're doing a summer internship at the big four, if you're really trying to grow as an intern, you got to remember that during the summer, especially for like tax and audit and even for consulting, it's a slow season. So a lot of intern for audit, you know, some people in my orientation, they had a few weeks where they weren't on a project because they're wasn't any work to do. Um, I can't say this about a winter or spring internship. Um, that might be a lot more fast paced since it might be the busy season. But overall, I would say I was pretty happy about my growth as an intern. Obviously, you know, I wasn't really too much interested in the audit work. But despite that, I was still able to grow by doing those training modules and having that experience of being on projects as well. And moving to the last topic of the video of the workload that I had as an intern. So the big four is pretty notorious for having pretty hefty workloads on their associates. And I was expecting to do a good amount of work during my internship, especially after that orientation week where, you know, I was constantly just, you know, had new assignments to do um, throughout the day. But the workload that I had as an intern, I would say it was pretty chill. And whenever I would ask the other interns as well, you guys have a lot of work, they would always kind of tell me like, yeah, I have a few things to do, but it's nothing crazy. But I think the general experience for interns is that their internship is pretty chill. They don't feel like they're overwhelmed with a lot of work. And I think it's a ploy by the big four, honestly to make sure that their interns come back so they don't want to put a heavy workload on them just yet. So I wouldn't stress about having a heavy workload during your internship at the Big Four. So overall, my experience interning at PwC was not exactly what I expected it to be. Having it been my first job in corporate America, I was expecting it to be like soul sucking, awful, terrible, but it ended up turning out to be the complete opposite of that. Being at Camp PwC this past summer, it was pretty fun. I met cool people, went to some pretty cool events, and on top of that, also got paid pretty nice as well. And so my bank account definitely loved me for that. But other than that, I hope you guys got some value out of the video. And if you guys did consider liking the video or subscribing, but with that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.